All right, my friends, I'll flip this so you can see it. See that little edge that I didn't get all the way over to and see how it's doing this little hook thing? I'm gonna show you how to fix this so that it's not humping over on this side. Now you can't like do it with your own natural nail. Your own natural nail is gonna do these funky shapes. Sometimes they're gonna curve. And this is over my natural nail, so here's what I'm gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is bring this all down. Um, I am using, let me zoom in a little more for you. See how I'm taking that down? And I'm even taking the bulk down. Now I'm not going down to the natural nail, of course, but I am taking off all my top stuff and especially right here. Okay. I can see why it would be helpful if I had my dust collector here. That's okay. So I'm actually going to level my product a little more than typical because I'm gonna build on the end. So the reason I'm gonna do this is then I can create a nice flat equal surface for all around and not fight my product as much. So if I've got to add on, I actually really do want to thin out my product, not to the nail plate, but enough that when I add on here, it's not like I'm putting like butting product up against product. It's better if this is transitioned smooth so then product can transition smooth over it then you have this whole space of contact versus just where the two walls would be. So you kind of have to taper it. And you can see more, see that janky little curve of my nail? Oh, that wasn't smart guys. Don't blow dust everywhere. Okay, so that's fine. You can actually see my natural nail through because not all my layers had color. This fill wasn't clear. Isn't that interesting how you can see? that. So now what we're going to do is take a hand file. Now I'm just doing the end. I'm just going to bevel that a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And then, gosh, there's so much cuticle work that can go on. But I'm going to first build out the foundation here so I have equal stuff to build on. So... For purposes of not making this video forever long, I won't do all my cuticle work right now. I will get out a form though that absolutely is going to help us. I like to put the sticky part down. Ooh, that was a little, you don't want it hanging over that. In case you were to pinch it, it helps it hold it better. Um, we used to do it the other way, and that just doesn't make sense. So, if you're going to pinch it, you want something sticky, like if I were to pinch this all the way. If you take like my shaping class, we talk about when you would pinch that all the way versus when you want it. Okay, so I'm going to get up underneath that release point there, and I'm up underneath now this, sorry, did I go off camera? See that little corner? That's what wasn't covered. That looks, this is what happens when I'm too zoomed in. But see how I'm under that corner? I'm gonna pull it just a little bit more. Yep. So you can see it's on there nice and tight. I like it like right under there. Okay. It's with the curve. So what I'm gonna do here, <clears throat> excuse me, is I, this is my color, Luminary Growth. And if it separates a little bit like that, don't you even worry. Take whatever brush you apply with. And I just go gently, I don't create bubbles. Just gently. 
give it a little once or two around. Okay. Now, I am gonna put primer because I always wanna help myself with primer right here where I'm gonna add product because this is where I'm gonna bring it down some and then we'll shape it. You can do this with the natural, like, oh, presents, which I have that. I could do that and it would just look natural, but I'm not so worried about it all as I am. I just want it attached. And I'm gonna bring it to the tip. I know I'm gonna have to reshape there. Make sure it's attached. That actually looks weird, but it's actually pretty good. And we're gonna cure it. That's all there is to it. Ooh. So, chuck that. I'm gonna get a little bit of alcohol to not make anything. It got a little bit under there. I'm gonna smooth that out with a diamond bit. But first, I need to file this straight out so it has that little lip that I had missed totally in its zone. And then we're going to just gently reshape. I am actually am going to pull this in a little more narrow for my new shape. So see how this side I can be flat? That's what we were doing over here so we can be flat. Now I don't have that weird curve anymore. So hopefully that was helpful. I'm gonna finish this and then I will do all my cuticle work and build on top of it. But now I don't have that weird curve and it can be flat from this side. I'm gonna take product off right there so it's not humpy. And it can be flat from this side now. Cool, right? Hopefully that was helpful.